Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we are setting up the month of October in my reading journal and I'm just going to come out and say it, I get major FOMO at this time of year because Halloween is one of my favourite times and I live in a country where it's not autumn. Um, it is spring here in New Zealand. You can tell by my very spring-esque nails that I am not setting this up looking for cosy weather or... Um, autumn leaves falling i am very much so living in a country with spring there's flowers blooming every day i am growing my vegetable garden for spring and summer so it's very odd to me at this time of year to equally want to have spooky vibes and all the cozy feelings that come with halloween uh, it's always a challenge for me to navigate this time of year all the same, I am definitely a Halloween girl. I absolutely love everything about the spooky season and I love the coziness that comes from spooky vibes, the books that I read at least anyway. And so I decided that I would try and find something that made me feel those vibes for my October setup. Every month I alternate between romance and fantasy this month was a romance one so i found it a little bit challenging to find the book that i was going to set my theme up around and thankfully i found one this is all set up by the dead romantics by ashley poston uh, one of my favorite little paranormal ghost books i love books about ghosts so i had to have one that was setting up around that and this one follows just a really delightful character development story the romance is a bit of a subplot i will admit but i just loved it so much i love this author as well she writes very unconventional romances and i just love it so of course i had to go with that theme for the month of october you will notice that i am keeping everything otherwise quite simple i did want to go elaborate and have a bit more detail but time restraints and also the black paper which you wouldn't think it would but it did held me back so this is what i came up with i am very pleased with the overall vibe when i came to setting up last month's calendar view i completely butchered it so you'll notice that i counted this counted this several times before i did any further line work or anything else on the page there are seven boxes thank goodness for that i'm actually counting it as i'm watching the video back right now just to make sure even though i know it has been so frustrating to work with that calendar view i decided to just keep it as it was and just go with it but i need to know what day it's falling on and being out of order means it's not falling on the normal row for like say wednesday it's now on a like on a friday or something like that it has been really hard to deal with so made sure that the calendar view was right had the same things put on this page there's nothing really changing about this layup as such but there will be some changes coming in the video a little bit on um, if you haven't watched september Maybe it'll be a bit more shocking. Um, but for the setup of October, there are some elements that I kept from my experimentation on September. Uh, I actually end up doing something that I wasn't planning on doing for October again, but we do it. And then also I've uh, sort of evolved the first experimentation in September into something for October and I'm hoping to find my balance with it and also going to try something new in November which I'm really looking forward to trying but unfortunately I thought of the idea and saw the inspiration for it after I set this up. So ironically in the month of September my friends and I normally do some sort of bookoplathon playlist or readathon um it is something that has always been a staple since i started bookstagram and reading again as an adult and so when becca and the books the uh, og account for this game uh, did not have one for september we decided to play our own little did we know that becca would be surprising us all in the middle of september with spookoplathon this year she's doing a halloween version of her monopoly board based game and you know what i was not going to miss out on this like i said i'm a halloween girl and i wanted to get involved in the spooky vibes that did mean that i had to set up yet another monopoly board this time round, though i have got all the footage of it minus the fact that this is cut out a little bit summer on the angle there because 
I had the book brought towards myself and there's some footage that I had to delete because my ginormous head got in the way but um, the actual filling in of the board I filmed all of it let's hope all the footage is correct because I am so excited to share it with you all however it won't be in this video I am keeping it for my TBR slash hopefuls video that I do every month as well it comes after this one so if you stick around a few days later it should be up on the channel I'm very excited to share the board with you all it came out so good and I'm very excited to be playing it over the month of October the next page that I'm setting up is the usual TBR prompts you know info dump page uh, I love this page and I also hate it. This piece of paper that I used was the last portion of this um, tombstone paper that I've got on my decorative paper pack and I wanted to use it so bad I spent some time whittling it down on the edges so it looked like it had been burned to be organic looking and everything and of course I decided to put it in the spine like a fool. I should have somehow broken it up or something I mean it looks really cool but it means the book is having a struggle sesh trying to close now and you can see that I'm trying to push everything down I do get a clip to hold it down because it just got to be such a pain in the bottom but um, it means that the book at the moment for me to use is quite uncomfortable until it gets a little bit um, ingrained into the spine a bit more uh, the whole book now is really chunky I must admit we're now going into October and I have used so much decorative paper there are so many elements inside this book and whilst I love that it's gonna be so cool to look back on at the end of the year this book is a chunky beast and I'm struggling to use the back pages this happened with my last one as well um, so it's not something I'm new to but it is always frustrating to try and set up those last few pages in any journal especially if you're like me and use a, a hundred different pieces of paper to set up everything and decorate with so um, I am struggling to use it and of course putting this in the spine has not helped but I do love how it looks and I'm really happy with how this page came together in the end I think it's going to be really fun to use and I'm hopeful that uh, it won't cause me too many troubles once it's finally embedded into that spine a bit more on to the last page or should I say pages this month again I am working on this reading log and changing it up a little bit uh, last month I changed to this grid like layout um, instead of the table that I've been using all year long and I really liked it but there were some issues with it one that the boxes were just too small so I decided since I could count out that I've got enough pages left in this journal to cover for November and December as well that I would use an extra page and break the boxes up into four on each page so I've got two two page spreads with essentially eight books per page and I've gone big um, I am also planning on doing a little bit of um, changes to it as well. I really want to put um, the cover of the book on the page as well. Uh, this is something I see a lot of people in the book community who have a reading journal do. And I've wanted to do it for the longest time. So I've left a gap on the right side of every box. I've tried to squish everything onto the left. I'm hoping that there might even be a little bit of room to write like a comment about the book. Um, definitely want to improve on how I record down the books that I read each month, just simply for my own um, memory keeping and also for the aesthetics of it all I am definitely trying to improve on that especially since I'm trying to lock down what kind of journal I'm going to use in the year of 2024 or journals I am having a lot of a faff about it um, <laughs> I brought a, a journal recently thinking that I could use that one instead and I'm not sure if it's really for me so I really need to just get the notebook therapy journal that I've been complaining or saying that I'm going to use and then yeah it's all been a little bit of a, a kerfuffle but we'll get there with it we're finally into the final flip through now I hope that you've enjoyed this setup with me and I hope that the narration is working this is my second time running through and it sounded on the first one like I had demons with me how appropriate for Halloween if it doesn't work I'm gonna leave it in there we'll see how it goes but thank you so much for spending some time with me until we next meet I hope you have fun reading and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone